Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are indeed getting out on a mountain bike adventure, but first we have something pretty special because I'm in a pretty special place. I'm at the Berm Peak Ranger Station and I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a little bit of a tour because I haven't been here since any of the renovations have been done and this place is sick. So my mom and my brother are up visiting and uh, there happen to be just the perfect dates open here and uh, We've been staying for a few days. This is pretty cool because, and it's pretty funny because Mackenzie, my brother who's running the camera right now, he and I actually were the first people to stay here. In case it was ever a question for anyone out there, we beat you to it. We were the first ones to stay. We were the first guests at the ranger station. <laughs> what? Did you get your soap? Yeah. Stuff out of the yeah. Shower? First guests. So it's really cool to see this place now that it's um, come full circle and it's, it's incredible what they've done. I remember when we first, when Seth first bought this house and you guys saw it in a video, when this deck wasn't yet installed, Seth rode his bike off of the little two by four right out and off of this which was extremely sketchy. I don't know why we did that. That was a horrible idea. Yeah! Over here is the uh, great room. We've been hanging out watching, and we watched uh, Jerry McGuire the other night. Mackenzie had never seen it, which is like mind blowing. And out this way is like the best part of the whole house, this huge deck, check this out. Look how, look how big this is. It just goes on and on and on. I think this, I think he redid this entire thing. It, it, I mean, it has to be, it's all brand new wood. Before finishing with the house tour, let me take a second to thank the amazing sponsor of today's video, Bespoke Post. For those of you guys that don't know, Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. In fact, 90% of the products in Bespoke Post boxes come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. It's free to join and every month they introduce their members to cool new products based on a preference quiz that you fill out when signing up. As for me, as you guys know, most of the time I'm not actually in a super luxurious Airbnb, but instead out camping out in the van. So I chose a few boxes that would help enhance my camping experience. First up, I got this retreat box, which comes with a hammock and blanket combo. The hammock was a breeze to set up and I love how small that they both packed down. We've been having a super mild winter here in the Southeast, so I've definitely been enjoying my time out lounging around using this box. I also got the slash box with this awesome Nada tool from Bare Bones, and honestly, I do not know how I got by for so long in the van without this. I especially love using it when going to build a fire because I have found that the Nada tool is perfect for making those smaller shavings that you need to get the fire going. Finally, I got the bean box with this great little headlamp for when the sun goes down and the fire dies out. I've been leaving this headlamp in my van door for easy access whenever I need to go find my way around in the dark at night. The cool thing is the box lineup changes every month and each box of awesome has around $70 in value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. The best part is you only pay for what you want. Each month before shipping, you'll get a preview of what comes inside and then you can decide to keep it swap it out for a different box on offer, or skip the month entirely at absolutely no charge. On top of that, as part of our collaboration, Bespoke Post is offering you guys 20% off of your first box of awesome when you click the link in the description below and enter sampler20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com forward slash sampler20 to see what boxes you might be interested in. Thanks again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into it. I gotta say, like, as much as I love the luxuriousness of this place, I think probably the coolest part are all of the, uh, like, all the stuff hanging on the walls. All the, like, relics of the past. Like, over here, there's a map of Burn Peak. So, Burn Peak and all, and all of the trails around there right now. Like, over here, we have uh, a map of Pisca Forest. Over here is awesome. This is all artwork from you guys, from the community. And this stuff is just super cool. It, 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 it really kind of makes, uh, I don't know, the house kind of feels like a museum. All right, come on. So the bedrooms are back this way. The bedrooms and bathrooms. So funny story, I remember when, when we were staying here, uh, back when they set just closed on this place, I was using this shower and, uh, but it was like just a bare bone shower. There weren't even like shower curtains. I was just taking showers in the shower with no curtains. 
And now these showers, the, these bathrooms are ridiculous. These bedrooms are gigantic. There's one in there with like two twins and a huge bean bag. And then this room is where I've been staying in here. Just living the life in here. And then this is the master bedroom in here where our mom was staying. She just headed out yesterday. And look at how big this is. Ridiculous. So many little touches. I've stayed in my fair share of Airbnbs. Seth and Amy have thought of actually everything. It's, it's amazing. It's so, it's very, very well appointed. I thought this would be the perfect video to put this in because I'm actually going to meet up with Seth for a ride. And actually, now that I have mentioned the mountain biking, that reminds me, I don't even think you've seen. Have you seen the downstairs bike room? No, I didn't know there was a downstairs. Yeah, come here. There's a whole room that you didn't even know about. This is the uh, bike shop. So sick, right? Yeah, this is this is lit. All right, well that's it for the tour of this awesome uh, Airbnb, the, the Berm Peak Ranger Station. I'm gonna put a link to it down in my description that link to the actual Airbnb page because there's actually some like pretty, like there, there are some openings left. Like that's how I ended up in here. There was just this little sliver of opening uh, because it's the winter. Uh, so for anyone that's interested in checking out and coming and staying yourself, I'm gonna put that down in the link below. But for now, let's go meet up with Seth because we are getting out for a ride in Pisgah on the Daniels Bridge Loop. So let's go. Yo. What up dog? I'm glad we're gonna be finishing this in the daylight because I've got 10 miles left in my tank and so afterwards <laughs> i need you to <laughs> i need you to follow me because <laughs> if we're just out on pisca highway and i run out of gas you can just bumper to bumper push me out to the gas station <laughs> the funniest part is this is not the first time this that this has happened and yo i'm so stoked you did bring this bike i was wondering i did see this bike when it was only a frame uh, but this is the first time i've seen it built up dang so that's what a $14,000 bike looks like, huh? Only time I've ever seen him wear clips. It just feels right. I, I rode this bike on flats, it felt good, but it, to be able to just lay down power anytime, no matter yeah. what position your feet are in, it just, I don't know, this bike just feels better clipped and, in. And probably to have like that laser precision. All right, dude, this is sick. Yeah, I'm excited. It said 50 degrees. On my car, it feels colder than 50. Yeah, it told me 12 degrees Celsius, so. Do, are you are you fluent in Celsius or do you have to do the conversion for it to mean anything? I'm like decently, I've been getting there, so I don't think you know this, but ever since we swapped my dash out, <laughs> my entire car has been in the metric system <laughs> and I can't get it to go back. Wow, oh, that's probably easy. No, it's not. No? No, like when I've, when I've taken it in, I've asked them to try it and they're like, yeah, we can't do this. Oh, well, <laughs> way she goes. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I don't mind the metric. It's just a funny new, another funny little quirk that Dora has. Oh my God, that's hilarious. She's like, she's basically Canadian. This was the first place I ever came to in Pisgah, ever. <laughs> really? Yeah, camping back here with a buddy of mine from Atlanta. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, so funny enough, I've never ridden this loop. Really? Yeah, I've only I've only ever ridden this trail after doing Farlow. So I've only ridden right. a part of it. Which way do you ride it? To the right. Yeah, starting with the waterfall. I bet that bike just feels so efficient. It's awesome. It's just a pleasure to ride. Yeah. Have you taken that thing to like a, uh, like do dirt jumps or anything on? No, the one time I tried to do that, it didn't work out. There's like more wheel under me. Oh yes, yeah, 29ers, Never mind. I so I'm having that. difficulty gauging like how high I have to be for the wheel to catch a transition. Right. I just need some practice. It takes getting used to. Yeah. I've always said it's just, with regards to like trail riding, you just have to get used to the different timing is all. Right. I don't think there's any problem with actually steering it into corners, but it is a different timing. For certain. There's like a little swimming hole up in that, above that big horizontal rock. 
It's not the kind of waterfall you want to jump off of. No, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, I am so glad we've done some pedaling because that is, that is straight up. Oh my, you're a madman. You're gonna make I can right? never get out of my clip. You okay? <laughs> yeah, just so hard to get out of clip pedals. Yeah, you think we can get this tree with a handsaw? <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could take that high side. You were feeling frisky, my man. Yeah. Straight off the desk. Is getting out of the clips difficult with your ankle, dude? No, it's just it's difficult with the uh, platforms with the spikes because oh. it keeps your foot from turning. Right. But without the spikes, it just doesn't feel right. Interesting. I really like standing on a platform. Funny enough, the first time I ever came to Pisgah was the first time I wore clips and oh my gosh, I can't explain how bad of an idea that is to anyone that's never ridden clips. I fell over so many times. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna snap my ankle. Oh gosh. I needed to go into that with more power. Oh more power Holy. dude the wood is so slick i know <laughs> this is the sickest single track though yeah this is nice it's kind of like squirrel uh so yeah i was thinking about the keys and i was like like now that we know what it is i bet you we could just do it no packs and just do it in a day yeah but that's not fun and then no. i was like what would be what would be truly hilarious like that was a test of our friendship at that point <laughs> how could we how could we test it again tandem bike <laughs> <laughs> riding it bike packing to key west on a tandem are we ever gonna go up yeah we've been going up Whoa. this whole time it's the sickest single track ever yeah that's slippery as heck Dude, there are so many roots. It's so rooty. Is this how the downhill is going to be? No. The downhill is all rocks. Man, I, I went to the gym two days ago and I lifted legs. Oh, I'm feeling that. Oh, man. I haven't been to a gym in like 15 years. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I'm trying to get on it. I want to like feel strong on my bike again. I think I would be way more fit if I stopped going to the refrigerator. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why Seth and I are lifting up our front wheels as we go through that water, it's so the water doesn't splash up. If you keep your front wheel out of it, then there's no water that's going to hit you in the face or get in the GoPro. Nice effort. Oh yeah, now, oh man, now the climb is starting. Oh. There's those clipless coming in handy. Nice, bro. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. Oh, that did me in. Yeah, bro. Not bad for no inhaler though. Every time, every ride. <laughs> Not every ride. Every ride. Maybe bro. every ride with you, but like, yeah. <laughs> I've actually been good about it lately. I wonder why you even buy that thing. This is a roto tunnel. Yeah, this is dope. Rotos don't lose their leaves. No fun. No. Necessary evil though. Yes. How many rides you got on this, you think, this bike? I'd say about five. Okay. <laughs> if I the... brake hard and go like this, I can get it to make a sound. That I think was it's... what that click was? Yeah, I think I've got to get some grease on the mount for my brake caliper or gotcha. align it. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to get on my bike and I got completely rejected by my fully extended saddle. <laughs> Nice, dude. <laughs> that wasn't exactly clean, but... It wasn't clean, but... <laughs> yeah. You did exactly the same thing as I did. <laughs> yeah, I just realized I wasn't going to, like, clean it's bunny sort of hop like it, so... The exhausted sort of just yeah. <laughs> get over it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, so slick. <laughs> oh my goodness, I thought you were gone. Yeah? Your back tire, did you not feel that? No. I'm gonna guess this is the top. Yep. Time for the fun stuff. Suspension all open. Hi, right, dog. After you. All right. Let her eat. Oh. Okay. That was sick. <laughs> Here's a tree. Oh gosh. Are we gonna get over this one? I have no speed to like hop. Nice, dude. <laughs> I got it too. You got it? Let's oh, go. Yeah. Ooh, a little fast here. Oh, dude, this is great. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll get that next time. That was sick. Whoa. Oh, this is rad. Holy off camber roots. It's technical, eh? <laughs> yeah. I like it. Oh my goodness. This is, this makes a lot of sense why Seth, that Seth likes this a lot. This is absolutely his style of riding. Oh. Woo -hoo. Yeah, buddy. Wow, that was actually so awesome. I like that. Yeah, that little connector that comes down here is so sick. That was rad. That was more stout than I thought it would be, to be honest. <sighs> okay. So we dip left. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. So we got to make sure we're good and rested for this. Okay, okay. You ready for a nice little ride? <laughs> I'm ready for some DH, baby. Whoa. Yeah, just keep going. We'll just, we'll just <laughs> pray for the camera. Yeah. No, we're not gonna ruin the ride for it though. Whoa. That was tricky. Holy <laughs> shit. Nice, that's a cool line. Wow, this is sick. That was cool. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I hear Seth giggling to himself. Oh my God, bro. Dude. What just happened? I don't know. What the f what, what was that? I don't know what just happened, but I think it was sick. Oh my goodness. You need to chill. Whatever's going on, reel it in. How sick is that? Yeah, dude. That river is looking so majestic down there. Oh yeah. I think Seth's getting a little bobbled around on that hardtail. <laughs> Which makes sense. This is a really tough trail to be riding a hardtail on. Cause it's just super weird compressions, uneven. Wow. 
That was rad. I want to go do it again. This is uh, this is a lot of work on Dude, this bike. <laughs> this is a tough trail and a hardtail, man. Holy. It's really fun, but I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of work. Yeah, no, I can see, dude. I can see your back end getting tossed. Just, yeah. Just because you don't have rebound well, dampening, you don't have that, that extra travel in the back. You got pretty hard. I'm also getting used to this bike. I haven't ridden anything this chunky that fast. Right. And so the back end tends to want to come off the ground. And yeah. I'm tending to take it with me because I'm clipped in. Yeah. But that's the reason I took out this bike today is because I haven't ridden anything really technical on it. And that's not what I built this bike for. I built this bike for the XC kind of stuff, yeah. but it's fun. Yeah. It's super fun. Yeah, like I can definitely, the margin for error for me on this trail is so much bigger than it is for set. That's like single tracky. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Whoa! I was in the wrong gear. I, I was thinking about that as I was diving into it. Dude, I cannot get out of these pedals. Yeah. That's why I don't ride clipless, man. I know, that's why I de normally don't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, once you, I didn't see the line. I thought you were just jumping oh, into the- Oh, it's not even that hard if you're, <laughs> I mean, if you're in the right gear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just shifted like five gears. I figure I'll keep getting stuck in the clips for like six months until I get used to it again. Yeah, it's just a steep learning curve. Yeah. You'll get there. There's always somebody like, oh, just loosen them. It's like, dude, I got them as loose as they go. I still get stuck in them. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I, I remember like when I was super dialed, it, it, it just straight up becomes second nature. Whoa. Oh wow! How did the heck I didn't, did you I get up there? I was in the right gear again. <laughs> this is a whole different yeah. Weather has not section been of trail over here. Section. Oh, I guess there was a landslide, dude. Yeah, I guess there was. Wow. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad we get did out that. on a ride in the middle of the day. If we keep doing that, um, yeah, we can be real mountain bikers. One day, man. One day. <laughs> We should probably do more of these. Yeah, if I can just work a little bit at <laughs> night. When somebody who doesn't have a spouse or kids tells me they don't have time for something, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like, you don't even know what you're talking about. To be fair, I don't, I don't generally say that. No, no, I feel you like don't. I, I get it pretty well just from having other siblings. You know in my better than to say that. And, and, yeah. <laughs> All right, dude, you ready? I'm ready. What's your guess saying? It says 14 miles, but I think we can push her. Alright dog. Today? You good? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>